what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be jujitsu vlog number six we're going to get right into the rolls but first i just wanted to say thanks uh for all the support the last few videos youtube hooked up some views on that uh one video with andy with the purple belt and uh, everybody's been awesome which i knew it would be a really good community on here just as it is in our gym here we're all doing this awesome hard thing together day in and day out so I uh, really appreciate all the support and all the feedback so yeah today I had the pleasure of rolling with my instructor and I think I got like five rolls in today but I'll just share a couple of them and uh, yeah let's get right into it all right we get started with Maddie here this was my third roll from today Matt is a fellow white belt 175 pounds been showing up a lot to class so we've been rolling at least a few times a week together Matt wants to uh, start in the seated guard, so we're going to work on passing the legs. So as I approach, my goal is to get him to his back, whether it's from the ankles or the hands. And uh, I grab one ankle, try to pin it down, and circle to the side to pass over to side control. He's doing a good job of framing on the hip there. And eventually going to kind of swivel the hips and get over into side. And I know Matt likes to reach over the neck a lot for a guillotine, and that's what he does here. Reaches over. Now he reaches over for my back to turn into me. I go ahead and try to get the cross face to bring him back to the mat. But he does a good job quickly framing with the left hand to create space. Comes back up, reaches for a guillotine. So I know I need to circle to my left side. I know the counter to this is the Von Flew choke. So I'm trying to get to the left side. We're about to bump into our teammates though. So now I end up in close guard and a guillotine, which is not good for me. So I'm gonna work on trying to pop my head out. I'm just focused on his arms right now, trying to get my head out and I finally get free and stand up trying to pop open the closed guard and uh, Matt's still hanging on here trying to wiggle free of this but as I'm pushing down on his stomach he actually reaches for cross collar choke here gets one good grip on one side but the other one's a little bit too loose so I'm trying to fight this uh, uh, cross collar choke right now so now my focus is just protecting my neck not really worried about his closed guard trying to break it free break it loose I think after a little bit of time here his grips get a little bit worn out and uh, it's close, but it's just not quite tight enough there on one side. So finally able to break free of this choke and uh, pop the leg open here. As he goes back down to the mat here, he quickly grabs my ankle. Looks like he's gonna try to shoot over for a triangle here, but I'm a little bit too high. My gi goes over my head, so I sit back, try to pop my head out, and we end up in this kind of awkward position that his hips are still above mine, so I know I need to get back as soon as I can because if he pops up, he'd be in full mount. So I'm gonna work on trying to scoot back and since we're down here already, I'm gonna to work to uh, attack an ankle. So now, just battling for position here, I'm trying to, uh, I got a hold of his right ankle. I'm looking to create some space, move my hips back so I can get my left leg in position and then eventually my right leg. So that's what I do here. I use my legs to uh, scoot back, get a little bit of space. I have my left leg in position now. It's right under his right leg here. And now I need to get my right foot inside position so I can start putting some pressure on his chest so he can't reach up and uh, try to escape the ankle lock. All right, so battling here for inside position. I know I need to get that right leg through to the inside so I can create some leverage against his ankle. Finally able to pop it through because I know his defense is gonna wanna come into me, grab my lapel and boot it through. So I try to turn into the mat. I see the other guys do this to me and I have nowhere to go with my ankle there. I can't push it through. So trying to push with my right foot, left foot, and uh, I have my lapel as well with my left arm. And I remember asking Matt if it was tight. He said, you're pretty close because I've never gotten a, a finish with an ankle lock yet. And I get worried with these type of submissions. I don't ever want to injure anybody with like arm bar or leg attack. So just trying to do it the right way and kind of pull it slow until we do get the tap on this one. So I'm going to get my first ever uh, ankle attack finish here. Okay, as we reset, Matt's back in the seated guard. So as I approach, try not to let him get grips when he reaches in. I try to block it, but he does a good job. Grabs a good collar grip, pulls me right in, but I don't go all the way down. So I'm able to come right back up to my feet. And um, this is where I posture up really strong to try to break that grip. And I get that off there. I'm not going to work on popping these legs off so I can pass. I think I was thinking about back stepping around the other side here, but he eventually lets go. So I'm able to um, kind of grab both pant legs, do kind of a Toriando here, and get the side control on my offside. All right, so inside control on the offside. Feels awkward, but good practice. Need to be working on both sides. So looking to maintain the position, get his back flat to the mat to try to work some offense. Um, and I know Matt likes to reach over my neck to make it uncomfortable. And that's what he does here as he frames in. He reaches over 
to get that guillotine grip. And even though I know I'm kind of safe in this position on, uh, since I'm on the other side of his hips, it's still not comfortable to have your neck cranked on. So looking to get his back flat to the mat so I can work on that uh, Von Flew choke to counter this. All right, so as I was laying here thinking about what to do, how to get out of this, um, I remember I was thinking about going to mount um, as his legs kind of come down here. But then I recalled, coach said, if you're in mount and you get guillotine to dismount and then uh, go to the Von Flew. So as I get my leg over there to mount, I remembered that. And um, instead I try to break the grip because it was a little bit uncomfortable. And then I decided to, hey, now I think I can reach around, connect these hands and really dig my shoulder into his neck. But I feel like I didn't have a ton of pressure, needed to get back to the side a little bit more. So pushing on his hips, trying to get back to the side so I can work on that choke. And I think it was a little bit uncomfortable there, but I see my shoulder now that I see it now, it really wasn't in the right spot. So that's why I haven't been able to uh, finish that. So that's gonna do it for that round. Great job, Matt. All right, next, my instructor, Simpson Go, black belt. Been training since the year 2000. Got his black belt in 2007. Weighs 145 pounds and he's slick. We get started here on our feet. All right, as we engage here, we're blocked for a few seconds. As I speed it up, he falls into a seated guard, does a nice butt scoot in, gets deep in under my legs here with that shin on shin, gets the easy sweep. Both of my legs end up over his head, but he quickly reaches in, peels that off. And now I'm looking to kind of hook a leg, but he quickly does that knee cut over my right leg. And I'm looking to push that back in so I can get some sort of guard back, but he's able to beat that. And now I'm looking at a half guard trying to get the knee shield in there and thinking about the Shaolin sweep he just taught me about a month ago. All right, let's really slow this down. Check out coach's right foot there as he swivels that out. He hooks around my ankle so I can't get that half guard back. That was really nice. I've never felt that before. So now I'm trying to get the knee shield back in. I'm starting to lose it. With that sweep, I needed to grab that material on his left knee and his left sleeve. But now that I lost the half guard, it's not going to work. And and uh, my, my knee shield's too low. So as he circles around here, I feel like I'm almost squared up enough to reach for the leg and keep my head on the inside, but he quickly turns around and uh, we're kind of in this awkward position where I'm hanging on to a leg for dear life. All right, so we get blocked here for a few seconds, but I'm still hanging on to the shin, trying to sit back into him to hook a leg and get a half guard back. Um, but here's where I make a mistake. I had the leg released, but then I reach back in for the leg, which is a really bad habit. We just talked about in class that I need to get out of with wrestling, just always reaching for legs. So I got to quit doing that in bad positions. You're going to see that right here where I reach back in for the leg and he's going to trap it right there. And now I'm in a lot of trouble. All right. So as I'm fighting here, one arm trap. Now he goes to work on my left arm and um, I'm just trying to remember to sit into him here. So I try to fall to my left hip there, trying to sit into him to not give him my back, try to get some sort of leg hooked or half guard back. Um, but I'm stuck and I go to do it again. And this is where he hops right over. And before I know it, he's already got my neck, my right arm's trapped, and it's gonna be an easy rear naked choke right here. And that's tap number one. So after that one, I was advised to not reach in and reach out for that leg, as I'm just gonna trap it and make things worse for myself. So gotta keep that in mind. All right, we reset round number two as I approach his seated guard. Looking to uh, pull the legs by, pin a leg, maybe knee cut right here. Um, but he quickly hooks my right foot, kind of has a half guard, and I remember not to give him that underhook there, so I'm trying to keep good grip on his uh, collar. But he quickly re-loops there with his left foot, so I'm not going to be able to get by at all. And now he's got me lassoed up there, so I'm trying to posture up, trying to deadlift to break those grips. But as I do, I don't even think the grips were going to break. He just lets it go, quickly goes into his uh, X guard here, grabs the leg just like he did the first time, and once he has that leg boom box there on his right shoulder, I'm gonna have to give up the sweep, follow my back here, try to get some sort of guard. But as I go to try to hook the leg like a De La Hiva, he quickly uses that right knee, turns it outwards, and uh, is gonna be able to cut. I'm trying to hang on to it. And now basically a three quarter mount right here. And we just learned to sweep from this position in Nogi, but before I can even think about the next step, he already hops over, trying to hang on to his Foot, but it's not going to last long as he's able to pry that out and fall right into side control here on my offside. So now just thinking about frames, trying to stay relaxed, try to put that left knee up so he can't get into mount. He transitions to knee on belly here. I feel he has the collar with us too. So he's probably thinking about the two by four choke, but as he goes to step over here, he kind of just lets me up 
and it uh, looks like he's going to try to take the back. So I go to just sit into him again here, try to get a half guard back, but he does such a good job of getting that knee cut in right over my left leg. And now I'm not paying attention to my neck. I'm thinking about the mount so much right here that now he pushes my leg down, slides into mount. Before I know it, I turn and I'm already in a head and arm choke and that's going to be tap number two. All right, here we go. Reset for round number three. Which submission is he going to hit me with this time? As we get started here, back on my feet, thinking how can I pass these legs? I go to pull and cross step, but fall right onto his knee there. It's not going to work and that's going to give him access to some grips now. So. He grabs my right sleeve and my collar. So now I need to kind of posture up, get back to my feet, try to break those. So as I try to deadlift up, he releases the collar. So I go to try to throw that right leg across, but it's not gonna work. He's got good flexible legs. He's gonna frame there with his knee. Got a good grip on my sleeve. And I know I can't let him get that across my body, but he does such a good job here falling back two on one the arm. And I feel like I'm gonna get my back taken if I don't fall over there. So I try to fall back into a guard, into De La Hiva. But as soon as I grab that hook, I feel like I lose it right away. People knee cut on me there so quickly. And now I try to reloop, but don't have the flexibility quite yet. As I go to throw him to the left side now, I'm really just hanging onto that grip, but I don't really realize that he's sneaking around for an arm bar and it's right there for the taking. And he's not ripping it on me. I'm just trying to escape for a second, but um, it's too tight. And that's gonna be tap number three. And that's about it for this one. Coach is gonna let me work here for the last 20 seconds on some passing as I go to pin his leg down and pressure the knee shield. That's been effective against white belts. I've been using this a lot as I go to uh, just put my weight on that knee shield and circle into side control. I've been able to block the hip and do that, but coach has his knee in there. He's just letting me work here as time expires. And that's gonna do it for this one, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for the role, coach, and let me share it and all the advice after each submission. Really learned a lot today, and I'm just excited to get back in class and work on these details and get better. Look forward to competing at the end of August in Las Vegas. So if you guys are new to the channel, want to support, come along for the journey, just hit that like and subscribe. Really appreciate it, and appreciate all the support so far. We'll see you guys soon.